In technical documentation, the role of a doc writer is the most common that you can come across. The designation ranges from being a technical writer to something more fancy, such as an information developer. Nonetheless, a doc writer's role and responsibility remain the same. They are hired specifically to deal with the product guides and manuals. They deal with simplified technical English. The main purpose is to create text that is easily readable and not too complex. If you look at the timeline, you will notice how this field has evolved over the years. And we have an interesting story to tell. Simplified Technical English came into existence and was adopted internationally sometime in 1986 when ASDSTE 100 became a standard in the aerospace and defense industry. This remained a separate branch while the academic community started to use the term called technical writing. At that time, researchers relied on using a typesetting tool called LaTeX. It became popular in the academic community, but its adoption in the word processors later marked a way for documentation in the IT industry. During its infancy, an array of markup languages such as DocBook and LinuxDoc shaped up. For a brief moment, WYSIWYG, or what you see is what you get, editors came into existence but never really became mainstream in the technical product documentation. Instead, word processors such as Microsoft Word, OpenOffice, or LibreOffice that were using the typesetting engines to manage the document appearance got readily accepted for product documentation. At the time, the most they could ask was to set up their style templates in a word processor using DOTM or similar files. Though there was no standard writing style guide when the IT boom started, the industry went on to use the Chicago Manual of Style as a de facto for its comprehensive coverage of grammar and punctuation rules adhering to American English. It took some time for the industry to come up with another standard style guide. Microsoft became the first company that published its style guide known as the Microsoft Manual of Style for Technical Publications, or MSTP, in 1995. It certainly paved the way for documentation teams to be created and exist as the software developers can no longer focus on following a particular style of technical English while writing their programming code. The entire content management system started to shape up, but as the focus on writing was more, we saw the introduction of a component content management system too. This gave rise to tools such as Adobe RoboHelp and AuthorIt. This remained a huge success in product documentation for some time until markup languages again started to creep in. This time, the adoption of XML became more popular and DocBook became DocBook XML. And a few years later, DITA, or say Darwin Information Typing Architecture, came into existence. Both were coined by a nonprofit consortium, OASIS, or Organization for the Advancement of Structured Information Standards. Several XML-based writing tools, such as Adobe FrameMaker, XMetal, ArborText, and Oxygen Editor, became a huge success and captured the market. The main advantage of DITA is that you have the luxury of adding user-defined tags and creating proper semantically correct text. To top that, you can define XML maps and their relations among other DITA components such as concept, task, or reference. This revolutionized the component content management system and forced technical writers to follow a standard document development lifecycle, or DDLC, something similar to SDLC. As the writing tools were shaping up rapidly, the need and adoption of other style guides also became popular. Google and Apple both came up with their own writing style guide. If you're currently looking for a career in technical documentation, you must go through all three style guides and understand the nuances. With a modern approach, we are again coming back to the basics and trying to stick to the software development lifecycle. The recent popularity of adopting markup languages such as Markdown, ASCII-Doc, and Restructured Text, or RST, adheres to this very fact. The adoption of these markup languages gives ample space for software developers and testers to get involved in the document review process. Modern terms such as docs as code or docs as tests got hyped due to this very fact. We will surely discuss them in our upcoming videos in detail as you'll be mostly writing during the code development or when the software testing starts depending on the process adopted in your organization. So, stay tuned in.